Okay guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to brand your channel. And what this will do is allow you to across your whole channel globally in one go at a watermark. So when you're in your YouTube channel, um, this is under channel and then under uh, the tab branding. Okay, and then you'll be able to add a watermark. So what I did was I just searched uh, on Pixabay for uh, Pokeball and uh, I downloaded this image um, to my computer. And then uh, what I did was I went to Lunapic and on the Lunapic editor, um, you can make the background transparent. Um, so you would click on the part that you want to, uh, to be transparent and it will change uh, to transparent. Now when you see these little tiles, that means in pretty much all uh, editing uh, software that it's transparent. So we can make it a little uh, less transparent, less receptive to, uh, to that. And that uh, brings back this part. Um, so, you know, there's a little bit of, of adjustment, right? So if it's, if it's kind of up higher, then it would think that that is white as well. So we're gonna bring it down to uh, to this, so we get the uh, the little almost white uh, back there, and then we're gonna click apply. Okay, so now we've got the image. Uh, we got a pokeball, a hand drawn pokeball, and um, that's that's perfect. So what we're gonna do is we can save the image, um, and we can save it as a PNG and then it will be down here on our computer, okay? Uh, so this is, I'll just double click here and uh, open up the image, and uh, there it is. You can see kind of the the uh, gray being transparent and then this little kind of, these white little fragments um, around the, uh, the outside of that. So we could adjust that, or we can just go ahead and, and use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that, and when we're branding, we want to, uh, you want to have a square image. So I'm going to go to uh, Snappa. This is what I use for a lot of my video uh, or photo editing because it's really easy to use and, uh, and it's fun. So all we need to do is, is create a, uh, you can do a custom graphic size, but I'm just going to pick Instagram post because it's nice and big and it's square. Okay. So I'm going to do it from scratch because I want to have the transparent background. Okay, so I'm not going to add a background because I want to make that white transparent. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, some text and uh, I'm going to put the name of my channel here. Okay, and I'm doing that so it's it's square. Okay, now I'm going to pop up the size of this. See how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the uh, change the the font. Uh, I'm gonna have to dial this down a bit. Widen it up so it all fits on the one tile. Okay, um, and it's still a bit too too big, so I'm gonna go to 240. See how that looks. Okay. So there we've got that, and then we've got uh, a graphic. So we're gonna upload a graphic, and I'm gonna upload an image. And I am going to uh, find the uh, the file that I uh, downloaded here, and this one here. Upload that, and click. Now you can see that it's that it's transparent, um, and so this is going to be my watermark. So what I have to do is just kind of play around with this, so it uh, it kind of fits. Um, because obviously the bigger I make this, the more space that is going to, uh, to take up. So I'm just trying to think what would be the best way to, uh, position this. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to send this uh, layer to the back so that the, the text is on top. I'm going to try to make this text pop a little bit more. I'm going to put uh, an offset color, um, and uh, hopefully that'll make it stand out a little bit more. A 
blur that a bit. All right. And I think that looks pretty good. So actually we can make the, make the spacing uh, a little bit tighter, save a little bit of room there. And we can make the line height uh, a little smaller too. And that uh, will allow us to have that image. So that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, it's gonna over, uh, overlap them a little bit more. And so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and then move it up uh, to the top. All right, so that's basically what it's gonna be. Um, you know, if you just wanna do something really simple, you could just put your name right in the middle of the, uh, of the slide there. Uh, you can also use any of the graphics here. Um, so you could, you know, put uh, anything here if you didn't wanna do a logo, these are already gonna be with a, uh, with a transparent background. Um, you could put a play button here. Um, so let's see if there's a, a video play button. Right, so I could put uh, a play button and that could be my logo. Um, and of course you can change, change this as well uh, to make it more like, uh, like YouTube, okay? But I'm gonna leave this for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, call this watermark and I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna download it uh, with a transparent background. Okay, so it's gonna allow me a PNG. Uh, transparent backgrounds usually have to have PNG. So I'm gonna do high res PNG. Okay, so now it's downloaded and the file is called watermark. And when I go to YouTube, I'm gonna click add a watermark and I'm gonna choose file. I'm gonna select my watermark and I'm gonna click save. Okay, so now it's saved my watermark and that's gonna appear on my videos. So this is how it's gonna show on your videos and you can basically start it at a certain time um, or to have it at the, uh, for the entire video. So I'm just gonna put um, for the entire video and this will show on all my videos right now and uh, we'll just update it. I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra polish um, I'm not sure I love the, uh, the space they put around it. Um, they put too much space around it for me. So I might go in and, and change that later, but basically that's gonna populate across my whole YouTube channel and show up in all the videos all at once. And so even if you do something really simple where you just put your name, like Andrew Murray TV, you know, people watching your video that don't know you, they're gonna see your name there. They're gonna kind of get that uh, sense of, of who you are and that they're watching something a little bit more polished uh, because a lot of people don't use branding. So I hope this video was helpful and go out there and do your own videos and put up your own watermark and I'd be happy to, uh, to see what you've done. All right, thanks, hope you enjoyed the video.